Over the weekend, the Ministry of Health has approved large-scale social restrictions for five cities and regencies in Bogor, Depok and Bekasi in West Java province. In addition, some areas in Banten province, such as in Tangerang, will also be under this large-scale social restriction. Now, Bogor, Depok, Bekasi and Tangerang share borders with Jakarta, the epicenter for the outbreak uh, in Indonesia. Altogether, this cluster make up 70% of COVID-19 cases in the country. Now, the Transportation Ministry will impose curbs under this large-scale social restrictions, which is similar to a partial lockdown under the transport curbs, intercity trains traveling to and from areas which have been imposed with large-scale social restrictions will only be allowed to carry 65% of its total capacity. In addition, commercial planes and passenger ships can only carry 50% of its total capacity. Private cars are also only permitted to carry half of its passenger capacity. Now, these measures have two objectives. First is to ensure safe distancing is being adhered, adhered to, especially in public transportation where there are large crowds of people. Secondly, because transport operators now can only substantially carry less passengers, costs are going to go up and this may discourage large movements of people, especially for those who intend to travel back to their hometowns for Mudik or the annual exodus uh, for the Eid celebrations. In the meantime, Saiful, uh, knowing that these restrictions are tougher, uh, you know, do the Indonesians appreciate uh, the gravity of the situation here in terms of these measures, understanding, of course, just how ugly it has become in the European continent and the United States, which is now the worst affected country in the world? Uh, well, Adam, generally Indonesians accept uh, these restrictions. They understand the severity of the pandemic and are aware that similar measures are also being imposed in many other countries over the world. In some places, uh, measures are even more strict. Now, it helps that the government also understands the plight of certain members of society during these restrictions. For example, the transportation ministry has been less strict with motorcycle taxis. The ministry said that motorcycle taxis can carry passengers during the large-scale social restriction period. There have been concerns when initially the health ministry said that motorcycle taxis cannot carry passengers and are only allowed to carry goods and deliver food. They are part of the informal sector and if they do not, if they are not allowed to carry passengers, it will cause a huge dent on their incomes.